today's you are show us our mansion. Can you imagine what it'll be like when he looks at you and says, friend, this is your home. It's my home that I've prepared for you, but because I love you so much, this is now your home. And that's a place that I'm looking forward to going, aren't you? Yeah. And that's what the writer of that song meant when he said, friend, the best is truly yet to come. When he got to looking around and seeing the world, the shape it is in, got to thinking about the problems that was in this world that are like it is today. You turn on the news and you can see, friend, that it's not going to last much longer. Friends, I'm here to tell you, and the inspirations that came to tell you this evening, that if you're saved, and if you're born again, if you know your name's wrote down in heaven's roll book, the good news is this, the best is yet to come. Amen. 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 Isn't that good? Amen. I am all rejoice tonight knowing what's one thing. Regardless of how bad it may get, regardless of what may come, Regardless of what may take place between now and tomorrow, if you're saved, you know this beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Trouble sometimes are to so many through the years. Well, it's just an honor for the inspirations to be a part of this great singing, honoring Him and honoring the way that God used Him through the years. Speaking of that, we're certainly honored and glad that God has chose to use the inspirations like He has for the last almost 60 years, but especially over the last two years, going on three years, we've seen the hand of God move upon our group and we all stand back humbled and amazed at what he's done. And we are so grateful that God continues to touch us night after night. And we realize that because of your prayers and because of your support, God honors that. And God continues to touch us and we appreciate you for doing what you do to help us from one day to the next. But let me tell you who the inspirations are tonight so you'll know who you're looking at. And so you'll know who you're listening to. Over there singing our bass. That's our bass singer. 
He lives in, yeah, that's the base note. There you hear it. This young man comes to us from the state of North Carolina. Lives in Morganton, North Carolina. And ever since he's been with the Inspirations, people have fell, have fell in love with him all across the country. Not just because of the talent that he has, but because of how he uses it for the Lord. And how God touches his singing. And that comes from a close walk to the cross, friend. And we sure are grateful for this young man. One of the finest young men you'll ever shake hands with. I want you to make him welcome here in Lawrenceburg tonight. That's Brother Wild Austin. All right, let's see. Standing here next to me, between me and wife, is our first tenor singer. He's a little different, you can tell the look. <laughs> he comes from the state of Georgia, is where he's from. Are you back here in Georgia tonight? Yes, sir. And he's proud of that, and we are too. There's a lot of friends of ours in Georgia. But tonight, this young man comes from a little place called Adairsville, Georgia. My brother Archie, when he was praying about somebody to fill the tenor part, like Brother Josh said, back when the pandemic hit. God just sent this young man along at the right time. And I'll tell you, friends, just like fitting a piece of a puzzle together, and when God does it, He does it right, don't He? We sure are grateful He sent Him our way from Adairsville, Georgia. He does a fine job, and I know you're going to love Him tonight if you don't already. Make Him welcome, that's Brother Isaac Moore. Over there on the piano is our piano player and our baritone singer. Said this before, I don't want to waste a lot of time, but I want to say this, this young man's do this credit. It's about 13 years ago, right? The big red eye pulled into Glasgow, Kentucky. And sitting there close to the stage was this young man. Somebody introduced him to Brother Martin Cook. And Brother Martin realized what kind of talent he had. And he began that night grooming him and helping him to play the instruments that he played and to play the piano like Brother Martin did. And when Martin retired in 2017, there was nobody that could do as good a job as this young man could do because Martin had taught him. But not only that, but God had sent him to the inspirations. And we're glad that he's a part of the group tonight. We couldn't make him without it from Glasgow, Kentucky. Make him welcome. That's Luke Paul. How about it? Yes, Luke. Woo. Thank you so much. I'm happy to have some buddies back here playing. I think you know them. Jeff Tolbert and Mike Riddle. Happy to have our orchestra here tonight. Jeff's playing the old inspiration bass. It's been with us 50 years or more. Roman Kesterson is our lead singer. He's a wonderful preacher, songwriter, one of my best friends. Make him welcome, Roman Kesterson. Hey. I think we just got some on our time up, but we'll do a few more. Here's one that James D. Vaughn himself wrote. That's an old song, Inspirations Recorded, and uh, it goes like this. Mm -hmm. 